Well, hello everyone. It is right now about one o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, September the 7th, 2019. And I am right outside the little airstrip in Greenville, Tennessee for something they're calling the Nis Niswanger Foundation Sky Night. I'm not sure why they're calling it Sky Night because it's happening mostly throughout the middle of the day. It's a basically an antique car show and small air show out here at this little field. Uh, and yeah, it's Saturday and I actually am not working at a festival. I don't have a booth set up. That's because I've taken a few weeks off to work on my cabin. I'm happy to announce we've broken ground. We've broken ground on the cabin and uh, made some progress. You know what? Let's linger on that a little bit longer because I'm really happy about that. Anyway, back to the air show. Let's go look at some of these antique bi-wing planes, old cars. Probably gonna have to have some of this on mute because they are playing copyrighted music down there. But let's go eat a hot dog, drink some carbonated uh, sugar water, and enjoy this, this few hours, the last few hours that this, this uh, air show is going on. This is one of the planes that has the parachute that uh, comes out of the top of it. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I want to say Jabbercopter, uh, but these are definitely not made for taking long trips in. So you, you pretty much take off and land from the same airport. They're uh, fun crafts. Those here finds what well, smells good. This guy in the yellow apron here is a local businessman or your hero, I guess you could say. Uh, we'll call me a hero. Yeah. This is the hero hot dog town. man. Also married to my mom's boss. Yes. Yes! <laughs> You're I know who you are now, now. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ashley. Yes. yes. All right, Ashley, what are, we, what are we putting on this? Uh, you want some of the vegetables if you got some ready. Do you like some? Yes, the ready. No sauerkraut, you, no. No sauerkraut, okay. necessary. Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, last year uh, we had somebody, one of the kids out here locally, dressed up for Halloween as the hot dog man. Yellow apron. Nothing, nothing is more 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> really, yeah. That really got you, it was great. you? It did. Because you went and got pictures with him and everything. I did. That was awesome. There was one year a kid dressed up like the hot dog man, so yeah. when the hot dog man did the Christmas parade, I had that kid come on with oh, you Christmas did. parade dressed as a hot dog man. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Made by the hot dog man. See how it tastes. Excellent. And as promised, the carbonated sugar water. Jeff. Jeff, this uh, Jeff is the pilot of this gyrocopter. Am I saying gyrocopter? Okay, he's the pilot of this gyrocopter here. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. All right. Um, gyrocopter has an unpowered rotor. The rotor just spins around. I like to say it's magic, but there is no. It's it's a completely unpowered rotor. Uh, you may have heard of a helicopter in auto rotation. Right. This is always in auto rotation. So that's how it flies. When the, the rotor disc is slightly tilted up when you're going forward, okay. and the air going up through it is what keeps it going. Okay, so all the power is to that propeller in the back. It pushes it forward so that the rotor disc, as it goes through the air, uh -huh. keeps it, it keeps it spinning. As long as you're in the air, that rotor is going to keep on spinning. I did not know this. I thought for sure that thing had a motor. No. Attached to it. No, no, it does have a gear that right. gets the, the rotor spinning, and it gets it spinning quite fast, but as soon as you uh, start going forward, the rotor disengages, the gear disengages, and uh, the air going up through the rotor disc keeps the rotor going. It's, it's I like to say it's magic. Uh -huh. Does it have a, a, a glide if this motor right here was to be cut off? Yes. Okay, so... It, it, you could crash land it if you needed to. No, I wouldn't crash land it. It's, it's an expensive piece of machinery. I just land. There's no need to crash. Oh, so it, if you shut it off, it could. Almost every landing. Back. Almost every landing I make is with without power. I just really. Well, I, I cut it back to idle and okay. I just come in and land. Wow. You can you can come down straight, but you need to have a little bit of forward motion. Right. Uh, when you land, but it, it pretty much lands stationary. Wow. Oh yeah, I, I flew this one from Orlando, Florida. All I did the way from it, I did Orlando it. in one trip. In one day. In one day. Wow. In, in a winter day, one of those uh, eight-hour days, uh -huh. eight, eight-hour winter, long winter days. Yeah, probably about six hours in the air. It's six like, hours. Yeah, like riding a jet ski. That's nice. Oh, it wow. Was, it was a lot of fun. It's fun to travel in this thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jeff. Oh, you're welcome. What's your name? Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Nice to meet you. And, well, that's going to have to be it for this one, guys. Uh, it was not an air show that had a lot of stunt flying. 
uh, I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't. It was mostly just showing off the airplanes, letting you uh, actually be able to see the inside of them, and of course the antique cars. Uh, I got there really too late to see a whole lot of the takeoffs and lands, but at any rate, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little, this little vlog, and I'm going to have to get back to working on the cabin, because... Let's be honest, guys, I don't have a whole lot of time to work on it, and so this, this few weeks that I have off, that is what I want to concentrate on, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please hit that thumbs up like button if you did. Leave some comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you'll turn on notifications. And uh, I will see you in the next one.